The recording has started. Thank you, Creighton. And you thought it wasn't useful anymore. Uh, I promise. I I promise that I'm not going to do shit like this. He says as he does the shit. Well, I just wanted to prepare. You could have just said. Unless it's funny. Docking computers at 65. Fuck. Add more M's. Dumb more. It's not how an orbit works. <laughs> just wiggle it around. Welcome to the game. Welcome to my ship. Am I in the right position? No. Ow. Bonk. <laughs> I got a scoop. It has happened. All right. I'm in the right position. If I look down, I got boobs. And just so you all know, what you're actually seeing is the left camera. Yes, my left eye. So, like, when I look down, you're seeing left boob. This is great. I want this in every game. I want, I want boobs in every game. <laughs> Access galaxy map to reroute. Oh, we need to go. Pull up the galaxy map, please. Alright. Current location. We yeah. Over here in Fly Wedgie. So now you can see what kind of journey we have ahead of us. There it is. Alright. Also, and, uh, let's go ahead and start up some delightful space music to accompany us. Yes. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where's my drink? It's over here. By me. Give. Whoosh! <laughs> so what we are doing is we are gathering system data, being a science ship, because you make a boatload of money doing that. I think I've got, last I checked, uh, I've gathered 70 million credits worth of science data. I think I will have roughly a billion credits by the time I get home, based on how much I've been making so far. All right. Away we go. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What? Put this one on repeat forever. Just click the repeat button until it says one. Yeah, I get that. Okay. Such, such a great space song. All right? Be honest, chat. How stupid do I look? <laughs> also, it... God, I can't say tell you enough how cool this is. Like, look at this shit. And I do have additional seats for multi-crew, but I don't have any friends. Uh, I guess we're done here. Uh, wow, that's the most hurtful thing you could have said, Braxton. What'd he say? He said you look like if Jar Jar Binks was a Republican. Wow! Also, I thought he was. Creighton? <laughs> Creighton, can you ban Braxton, please? For hurtful comments? Squeaky. Grabbing some fuel as we pass by. I am so glad that I invested in the high capacity fuel scoop. Is that just a massive gas giant? Yep. Alright. Icy bodies, rocky bodies, high. That's rocky. High metal content. Yeah, it is jiggling. It's doing some Kerbal. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's a. That's an <laughs> ejection vector. Oh no. <laughs> Some of these planets are going bye-bye. Sometimes you can't actually tell they're there because you're getting interference from the larger... Go up to the right? Yeah, you're getting interference from the larger, broader signals. Huh. So if you if you see a gas giant that appears to have orbits... Looks like we got one more down lower on the spectrum. Oh, there might be more up here. <laughs> Great, this is, oh, I was enjoying Old Saucer. <laughs> also, Cobalt says, ENERGY LEGS! <laughs> oh, hi, right there. Nice little high metal. What the fuck are these orbital lines? Wee-hee-hee-hee. 
system. Let's head over there. Also, I hope the, uh, I hope the capture's coming through okay. Great ass, how did you get that this far to begin with? Uh, I dumbed my way out here. Activate Reaper noise. Uh, ooh, ooh that might be... You. We might have a water world here. Or uh, might be an ammonia world. Yeah. Uh, up there to the right. Got things on me. Now up on the right, we might actually have some <gasps> earthquake Earth world. world. Right, what is that? Dot 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 dot. It's very hard to see. <laughs> and they're all clustered together. Ooh. What the fuck? Target too close. <laughs> is it? It can't be behind the star. It says it's behind the star. What if it's that planet we whooshed by? <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I guess get out of here and I'll fly away some more. Tone in properly! Oh, baby. Hot damn. These are worth good money. Just wiggle it around. We got some water worlds. Oh, yeah, Batman. Uh, up to the right a little? There we go. Nice. There's another one. Somewhere. Somewhere. In there? Oh, yep. Sure enough. You. Hell yeah. This was a... What a profitable system this was. So, uh... What we are doing is just jumping from system to system to get home, gathering scientific data because this is a science vessel. We should stop for fuel at the next star system from being too close to the star. What, are we even scooping? Duh, it's fuel. Yeah. Star stuff. <laughs> Haven't you ever watched We're scooping ice Sagan cream. something? <laughs> Price says, for real, stars have like a bajillion energies in them. <laughs> they yeah. sure do. I imagine if you could get close enough to a star... I mean, they are constantly spewing out matter. Nice. Ah. <laughs> Stop. No. <laughs> no explode. Cobol fix. Warning. Yes, I know. Shut up, computer. I'm working <laughs> on it. I can imagine Cobalt as a robot lizard. Like fucking Star Wars robot lizard droid that makes robotic yaps. Come on, charge, charge! Damn you, we're almost full. Wait for it. Away! <laughs> All right, now let's get away from the star and do. Yes, I know. My God, ship. So, uh, one of the reasons we fly away from the star for a while before we do our FSS is that it makes the star smaller in our scan, so it's easier to spot planets. Dude, they don't I love end up... that, uh, fucking galaxy arm in your view there. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Nice. What is that? Uh, it appears to be a blob of licorice. Let's go blow it up. Narg. I'm, I'm belchy. Probably has to do with this kombucha I'm drinking. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, it's probably gonna help fix up your gut biome. I sure hope so. What should I call you? Oh, God. You dropped us out of... We. <laughs> You're already in Super Cruise. Computer! Stop. I am testing the functionality of my controls. Okay. <laughs> Let me point us away from the star. <laughs> well, if I drop this out of if I drop this out of Super Cruise, it's not like we're suddenly going to fly into the star. No, but what it can do is destroy my ship. If we're like in Super Cruise mode, right? 
you can do like an emergency drop out of Super Cruise. But if you do that, it damages the ship. See, this is cool. It's like I have a it's like I have a computer system. A computer system that's attached to your eyeballs. Well, no, it's in the ship. I hear it on the right of me because the system speaker is over there. But I'm attached to your eyeballs. <laughs> So, you know, when you look around and shit, Pandas. <laughs> Pandas. Oh, I like that one. Also, Graydon has Sunkissed. Ooh. I like a good Sunkissed. Problem is, diet orange drinks makes my stomach go funny. Whoa! Ooh, hello. You are absolutely the whitest of dwarfs. Heck yeah. And we're done. Um. I'm gonna swing through and grab some fuel real quick. Can you f grab fuel on a white dwarf? I don't know. Let's find out. Diet colas are pretty good. Uh, the worst diet drink you can possibly drink is diet root beer. That tell you. Target too close. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> All right. What's that down there? Do we have any high metal content stuff? Uh, icy bodies, asteroids. Nope. Goodbye. Yeah. We really only need engine rerouted if we get into some kind of combat situation and I need to boost like crazy to get out. That kind of looked like a star was coming right at my face. <laughs> uh, you should be my friend in Cookie Run Kingdom. I need more friends. Uh, a couple of gas giants. Whoa! <laughs> when you get what? right into that ring. What? What does oh. that look like to you? <laughs> I, oh my god. It was like right in my face. Yee, why? <laughs> yeah, of all the things in this game that are a little disorienting for me, this is it. If you're you saying do if I do this kind of stuff. <laughs> Whenever you're. Is my computer running Windows Plot Hyperspace? <laughs> Engage. <laughs> okay. And. Drop us out of Super Group. <laughs> Watch you die. It seriously does a lot of damage. I have gotten into scary situations where I damaged my ship so bad that I couldn't go into Super Cruise anymore. Are there black holes? I know there's neutron stars. Yes, there are neutron stars. I haven't seen a black hole, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. But I believe black holes are fairly rare. Oh, this place sucks. Oh, it sure does. It's icy bodies. Wait, is that an earth like world? Rocky Ice no, okay. Plotting hyperspace. <laughs> uh, computer, what's going on in chat? Uh, I must be mad at you because I stopped calling you Pan. Cobalt's computer. Cobalt? <laughs> <laughs> no, they've combined together. <laughs> Cobalt, he and I have fused into a single being. Fly past also, here, Cobalt, uh, we're well, like, you know that he's fixing your rainbow spaghetti. Oh no! There's a lot of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shit. <laughs> Stop. Uh, we need to go into Super Cruise immediately. Oh no. Docking computers at 65. Oh. Super Cruise assist is at 71. So, nothing's super damaged. FSD cooldown. We're getting there. At least we're not overheating. I got too close to the damn star. See, this is the problem. That advanced docking computer is so freaking fragile. Three, two, this is bad. One. Yeah, get us out of here. Yes, I know. I I know. Fuck. Check systems. Check all systems. Whoop. Super Cruise Assist is now down 66. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was some bad damage right there. All right, like I'll just I said, swing through here and get some fuel on our way out. Oh, this will be fine. So, see, and what is especially bad about this is that, as near as I can tell, there are no space stations for like a hundred jumps at least. That's quite Five, the that's quite the halo four. it's got there. Dropping speed. Yeah, that is a burning planet. Sure is. All right, let's hop out of here. I'm now going to prove my powerful sentience by dropping some puns on you. Oh no. Uh, I want to be cremated as it is my last hope for a smoking hot body. God damn it. Is this chat? Is this chat? I want names. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't realize how close to the star we were. To the guy who invented Zero, thanks for nothing. God damn it. <laughs> what do you call it when you uh, daydream about swimming in an ocean of orange soda? What? A fantasy. <laughs> Engage the hyperdrive already. What do you call it when moose rained from the sky? What? Oh my god, no! <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, I improved it because the original one didn't make sense because I don't think moose are a kind of deer. <laughs> the punchline was, it's reindeer. I'm like, no, screw you. What was Forrest Gump's email password? One, Forrest, one. <laughs> That's a terrible password. <laughs> it was Forrest Gump. That's fair. It's mostly sulfur. <laughs> oh, God. Those are some stanky CDs. Alright, so that should be a cool million. Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. Welcome to 2022. All I can say is, hang in there. <laughs> yep. I really hope this will be the year. The year of, yay. We can calm down a skosh. Right. Koda hey. says, ah! Why? Why though? Also, uh, that planet is Code so would also stuff. like to let you know. Ah! Stop! Stop! I want, I want to do the thing. You're gonna crash yourself. <laughs> I just noticed. <laughs> it's still sitting there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Up in the corner there, where it says info. Oh. <laughs> Cause you've been hitting it, god damn. <laughs> This is a Linux system. And I just want to make sure it's clear for anybody who's been thinking like, you know, maybe I'll try Elite Dangerous. This is not the majority of Elite Dangerous. In fact, there is a syndrome associated with what I'm doing uh, called Space Madness. <laughs> where you can start to lose your shit. Lots of planets. Really wish we could get out of the uh, fly wedgie nebula or whatever. How many jumps do we have before we get to Nanganu or whatever it's called? I don't know, man. <laughs> he splurges on the fuel scoop, not on the AI. <laughs> I well, don't I know the me, I got me a AI from the backwoods of Space, Texas. We got 90 more jumps before we're sub a thousand, boys. Let's go. Super bored. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh no, my computer's <laughs> getting bored. It's gonna stop flip, start flipping us in circles just to <laughs> keep itself entertained. Am I okay on the camera? I mean, you look like a doofus right now when you stare straight up. A doofus is fine. Imagine how bad it would be if you ever had to venture outside of your spacecraft in space. Nope. I don't wanna. Gotta fall a little close there. See, that's what I. That's why I didn't. That's why I nearly crashed into the star last time. It's because I wasn't paying attention to how fast my fuel intake was going. I like the idea that we're gonna ro when you finally get back. In the, in the context of the world, you're going to pull in and your ship's going to be beat to hell. And they're going to be like, what did you do out there in Nowheresville? You were a science vessel. <laughs> and you're like, look, I never said I was a great pilot. I just said I knew how to scan things. <laughs> My... My only consolation is that when I do get back to civilization, pirates are pretty much going to leave me alone because I don't have any cargo. <laughs> All I have is science data. You and get I back to civilization, 7,000 pirates show up. Hey, data is useful for us now. Gib. 
I can't. It's not a cargo I can eject. It's all in my head. I'll eject myself. What the fuck? It's not how an orbit works. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Tokyo Drift Planet. Deja vu! <laughs> there you are. Do a barrel roll! You'll be able to be able to be able to- I can't, it's space. I can do an aileron roll. You could do a barrel roll, it'd just be the longest barrel roll in the universe. Well, to do a barrel roll, you have to have- To do a barrel roll, you have to have air. So you have air resistance that causes your plane to move in a certain way. Did my fuel just go backwards? <laughs> fuel at 1%. Fuel at zero percent. Ah, curse this obsolete month old technology. Fuel at negative one percent. Ah! If your fuel's at negative one percent, do you just start going backwards? <laughs> you start imploding. No. You collapse into a black hole. Uh, another reason why we're playing this game is because I don't have to move a whole lot, so I don't have to worry about smashing my microphone. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you press this button or press this button combo and we're gonna hope that I don't puke all right left control left all and space there I am it's looking around <laughs> wait is it turning my head while I'm yeah oh no she's just moving her head oh, okay Okay. I just want to see what happens when we go into hyperdrive from this viewpoint. Oh, oh. Okay. it kicks us out. It says no. You will hurt yourself. I was not brave enough. Wow! Oh. Those stars are too close together. Yeah, Jesus. I think this is a binary system. Like this is going, like, <laughs> this is going to collapse in like a decade. <laughs> Wait, how would a figure eight orbit work? When when the two stars crash at the point where the eight meets, like we'd be like, yay! Can you imagine what it would be like if uh, planets orbited around stars, like electrons orbit around protons? So you never know where they are. Yeah, it's just your planet exists in a probability fuzz. This entire sky would be... The entire sky would be sun. <laughs> because it would be everywhere at all times. I want a sc angry Scottish one. Four, three, oh. two, one! Is it moving away from us? <laughs> it's running away. Activating hyperdrive! He's almost like Marvin. It's looking dumb. very white. Ah. Uh, Oof. Um. There's a planet. There's a lot of stars here. Well, in fact, is that a water world? Wow. One thing at a fucking time. I was just looking at the analysis. Wow, Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> None of this was on the radar. Just add more M's. Dumb more. It's a smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Once there was this boy who. Happy 2022 to you too. And he called you a. Uh... Hold on, where is it? Woofy La Forge. <laughs> also, dude, is that another water world? Possibly. Wow, this one looks like a fucking planet of latte. <laughs> I want to drink. I want to drink that Wait. planet. Uh, what we are doing is we are traveling through deep space and mapping these systems. Well, not necessarily mapping them, because apparently some of them have already been mapped. We are gathering valuable science data. The game won't actually let me smash into the star. You'll blow up long before then. It'll drop me out of Super Cruise 
and then I'll be crazy overheating and I will explode. Cause stars tend to do that. <laughs> it will give me a good chunk of time to get away from it before my systems completely evaporate, but not a ton of time. I can't do two more hours. Oh, sad. I have to work tomorrow. Or today. Also, my ass can't be too. <laughs> my my boobs here are my frame of reference for if I'm sitting in the right place. It is New Year's for the friend of the show, Magicato. Hooray! Happy New Year, Waldrick. Tell Blue Zest if he wants to put his uh, if he wants to put his audience to sleep. We've got a great channel he can raid. Also, if you're the first person to discover a world, you can name it. I think. What am I close to? Not close to anything. Why is it telling me to slow down? <laughs> Stop panicking, it's gonna be fine. So that slow down warning means my ship is going to explode. <laughs> Clearly not, for we did not explode. What if your ship had boobs? See, that's... You fly down to a planet's atmosphere over a... Fobbit a fobbit a fobbit in the wind. <laughs> oh no! It's a Gynax effect. <laughs> um. Like. Braxton will let you to honk honk your boobs. Honk honk. I can't. I don't have hands, you guys. How's our fuel? Oh, we got plenty of fuel. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Captain. You found the rare uh, fuel absorbing star. No! It's a cold star. Everyone, God damn it, remember I can't remember to get, what keep my yourself hydrated was. by drinking drinks. Now and then it just like blink. Oops. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Linux, man! <I'm... laughs> Every now and then it's just like, you wanna go in a frame shift drive, right? No! <laughs> We're like, every now and then your AI forgets what buttons do what. And it's just like, because I was like, oh yeah, I for the scanning. Ooh, is that a... It's like, I for the scanning. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, so it's L then turns on lights. There it is. Whoa. Water giant? Dude. Whoa, look at the fucking rings around this bitch. Dude. 0.5 ammonia, 0.5 methane, that's less than ideal, but there's lots of water on it. Rex says, doesn't water start behaving weirdly when it's under a meat fuck gravity like that? I think water acts weirdly in general. It was a... Uh, it's a very unique molecule. That was a water gas giant. The, the atmosphere was where all the water was. That place looks like it's a frozen disease. <laughs> okay, now it's just rocky bodies. No, it's not! What the hell? <laughs> You're, you need to upgrade your scanner, man. I really do. Maybe that's a thing I can do, I don't know. Bernard Star, Sirius, Alpha Centauri, the California Nebula. Oh dude, Aldebaran. Aldebaran. But as you can see, we're very far away. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, I guess that'll do for tonight. Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Happy New Year to those who have... Happy future New Year to those who have not yet reached that point. Creighton, I told you to ban him. <laughs> I don't think Creighton's still here. I think it's just Zay and Brax. What is the point of having moderators if they can't be here all the time? You need, you need to have moderators from different countries, man. I do! Creighton's in Australia! <laughs> yeah. That'll do. So hopefully we will see you guys next time. But for right now, let's roll the outro and get the hell out of here.